Scott, uh, I'm, I'm finishing up a live feed on Scott's drone. Okay. Yeah, give me a minute. More what? More like speed, more power, more, more money, speed. more everything. It's, uh, it's an 1100 watt as opposed to a 400 watt. Mm -hmm. um, wow, that's... So we're going from a one horsepower to a three horsepower. Wow. And it's going from, you know, most of the these boats with the ultralighter going 5.1 to 5.7. Now we're More talking like about 6.4 to 7.1. So, up over seven it, miles. It's now. funny where, because I tested all of them. 6.8. I run them on the same lake all the time, and all of them hit like 5.2 max. Sometimes 5.3, like blinking. I know there's a bunch of variables, but like most boats just hit that. And I think it's just the limit of the motor itself. Incorrect. No? It's incorrect. I can show you how to get 5.7 out. Maybe you need to come down to Miami and let's yeah. do it. Hop on, and I'll, I'll show you what you're doing. Yeah, man. Okay. I will adjust your your foot pegs so that your your leg length is happy for steering it. Mm -hmm. um, we can do that because the um, we have the bona fide foot control steering kit for the torpedo here. We're just taking up some slack because I got longer legs than you, and I was just running it. So we're going to bring these a little bit closer to you. Hey, you're smaller than me, man. <laughs> You're like four feet taller than me. Right. So <laughs> like check those for for steering and see what the um, see if you're happy with doing that. Uh, a little closer. A little. A little closer. Okay. So it's nice that you know with the steering kit from Bonafide, you get the tubes to install. You get this Dacron line. You get these spindles that that install on the back of the the foot pegs and then the rest of it you already have yeah uh, you run it back to your steering triangle and, um, new steering triangle too that's nice well they they understood that hey we're working with a little bit more power so we need a, a reinforced um it's actually reinforced with these with metal but this is a prototype of the 1100 watt motor so the, the ultralight is the 400 watt motor so we're getting speeds of 5.1 to 5.7 depending on which boat that you're in um, and, and really depending on where the, the seat is positioned the further forward in the boat the seat is positioned the more the nose goes down and the faster it, it runs so, so with the nose down it runs faster yeah and that's that's displacement that is displacement propulsion um, i think we need to make that video okay i mean it's it's i've done a I no, did, but, but on my channel. Run. Okay, make it, man. Here's, None. here's what you can do. If you get a new canoe, as, yeah. a, as an example, um, you move the seat all the way back and check your speed on the, the Torquedo throttle, and then you move the seat all the way forward and check your speed, and then move it somewhere in the middle. And you can see, say, so here's the I, I bow, remember here's that. the stern. If, if the seat's here, you might get 5.1. Seat's here, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4. As you start to push that nose down, it just gets faster. I remember that with the, um, what do you call that? With the flint. You have to push it, increase the so, speed and everything. So seat position is probably most important to get the most um, propulsion efficiency. Um, the overall weight of the boat, or lightweight the boat is, is important, but also length of the boat is, is important. The 14 foot boats, they actually do really well. They happen to be heavier, so it's a trade-off. But trade -off. if you have a lightweight, long boat where you can jam the seat pretty far forward, that is, uh, it, and in this case, you know, the fastest boat that we've had this motor on uh, was the Wilderness Systems Attack 140. That's, That's the huge. fastest that we've tested because yeah. it's a 14-foot boat. And it's only, what, it's, it's 34 fairly, inches wide? It's not that heavy? Yeah, it's not that heavy for what it is. And, yeah. um, and then it's, it's seat position. You can trim it very far forward, and it, and it takes it from most boats ride probably the Torquedo like that and makes it like that. So we got that, that particular setup, the Attack 140, to uh, 7.14 miles per hour. So over 7.1 miles per hour with the attack point 40. Uh, this boat, uh, the Bonafide SS 127, uh, just here this morning, I got it up to um, 6.8. Uh, it's solid on 6.7, uh, but if I move my my butt forward on the seat and move, you know, push that nose down, it was hitting uh, right. 6.8. So. so let's try it. You do have the you know this is you going forward yeah and i'm going to do the reverse lock so i have the reverse lock here and this is it coming backwards it's starting okay. to pull uh the motor lift is on that side why don't you swing your camera towards the back and i'm going to show you the prototype part of the the development 
of the motor lift is, is a little bit different. You see some pulleys and stuff there? Mm -hmm. It's because that's a very heavy motor. Right. It's no longer an ultra light, but right. that motor lift, you know, that extra hardware is in there to be able to lift that, that heavy of a motor. So I'll go ahead and let that back down. All right. And then you can take it for a spin. But this is, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a 2020 product and, uh, you know, we're, we're still tweaking it. That is a prototype that you're you're going to be testing right now. Oh, so you have to hold, you gotta hold it for just a second until you start. Okay. And I'm going to start it and then you can. And how do I go? Take it back to neutral and then it will just let go of it. Go to neutral and then steer forward. All right. Right there. What's up, man? All right, do this. Hey guys, we are in the new Torquito. They're still testing this thing, but I want to push it, see how fast it goes. I see some people getting in front of me. What's up, man? Try to catch me! Catch me! Six miles an hour. Six point four. Six point seven. Six point seven. We hit six point seven. Let's see how good this thing turns. We're right here on the test of the new Torquedo. <laughs> I don't remember the motor, but this thing is powerful. It goes 6.7 miles an hour. We're gonna hit her now. This is crazy stuff. Amazing stuff. This guy's going reverse. How do you like that 360? Getting used to it? We hit 6.7 miles an hour. They're still tweaking this thing. It goes in reverse and it's pretty awesome. It's a heavy motor though. So let's go to base now. Woo! More videos from ICAS coming up, of course. This is the new Torquedo motor on the Bona 5 SS127 and it hits 6.7 miles an hour. You could go also in reverse. They have a lot of little stuff going on. Let's go park. Six point seven. I did what you told me. Yeah. I, I got. Was able to touch six eight. Oh oh. It, was, I, it, it uh, you know, I think pretty consistently it, it does hit six seven. It's a. Um, I'm, I it may. Requires some tweaking to get the, the trim adjustment right.